What's up, people? It's your homie, Tanzo. Three Finger Gang in the house. Represent. Um, look, I'm going to show you the basic ways of how to edit your vocals using Cool Edit Pro. This, understand this, I say the basic, because I'll eventually do the more professional ones later on. But right now, just the basic ones, so you can actually know what I mean when I do the more advanced ones later on. Alright, cool. First of all, make sure you're in a room which is soundproof and there's no echoes and all that and you set up your mic properly, you know, all the mic settings and everything. Make sure everything is on point. Like the room I'm in right now is not like really soundproof and it's not really feasible for for recording but I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna do it anyway but for you guys if you want your song to come out crisp you need to make sure you're in such a room you know anyway um, you open cool edit pro right I've already placed the beat here this here and this track is a beat I'm just gonna play for you the beat I use this beat for one of my freestyles it's on my channel you can check it out so this is the beat here I'm gonna play it for you yeah Alright, that's the beat. So, um, I'm gonna go to track two, track two, and um, here, the R is for recording, um it, I just press on it. Um, and then I'm gonna go down here to the record button. When you press the R on that track, that means you're recording only on that track. And when you press the record down here on this button, that's when you can record. So I'm just gonna, you know, drop a few bars here so, you know, I can have like vocals. Alright, let's do this. Yeah! Alright! 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 Look! Ah! Uh, they wanna pull me back. They wanna play my track. When I drop a floor, these homies wanna play me back They wanna pull me back, they wanna play my track When I drop the floor, these homies wanna pull me back They wanna pull me back, they wanna play my track When I drop this floor, these homies wanna pull me back They wanna pull me back, they wanna Hey, look, look, listen, hey Hey, cool there we, there we go, we have our vocal. Let me just play for you without the instrumental so you can hear the vocal. Yeah! Alright! 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 Look! Ah! Uh, they wanna pull me back! They wanna play my track! Alright, that's the vocal. You can hear it's so noisy. It's because of the room I'm in. It's not like proper for recording but like like I say if you get a proper room everything will sound right let me just play the vocal and the beat together yeah alright 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 look uh, they wanna pull me back they wanna play my track alright that's the beat and uh, that's the vocal. All right, so let's go. The first thing you do, you go to the vocal, right? You go to the vocal. You double click on it, the left click. You double click on the vocal. Double click, and then it opens the wave. It opens the wave as big as this. Cool. So now, you go to effects. Effects, effects, whatever you want to call it. You go there, you click on it just once once right right cool then go to amplitude click on it left click still just once i mean okay that should be twice amplitude you click on it twice and then you go to amplify amplify you click you click it twice or oh, once twice whatever but once you do that it opens it opens this file when it opens this file if you can see in the background, the vocal has been like selected, so the whole vocal will be selected. So you open, amplify, go to center wave, press OK. 
when you press ok that effect will go into the vocal and then go to channel mixer click on it twice and then this file will open go to wide stereo field wide stereo field press ok and then it puts that effect in there and then go to dynamics processing dynamics processing click on it and look for very fast attack very fast attack to find it press ok you see all these effects I'm putting in the vocal the vocal keeps changing you know that means the effect is going in there it's going in there and then go to hard limiting some people like putting hard limiting some people don't but for now for now since I said it's the basic way of editing drop it in there don't change any settings on it press ok alright after that uh, you go to pan and expand some people as well don't like using pan and expand but for now let's use it you go to mastering width mastering width press ok boom alright cool so you're done with amplitude go to delay effects delay effects and find reverb find reverb double click on it look for tight and close tight and close reduce the perception reduce the perception to all the way to smooth like to zero perception on tap tight and close tight and close eh, English anyway press ok alright I hope you're paying attention I'm trying to do it as slowly as possible so that you can understand you can always bring the video back you know anyway and then you go to filters go to filters open the filters folder find FFT filter double click on it find the ESA click on it once and press ok don't change anything else on the windowing function don't change anything else just there is Blackman okay cool you can you can use Blackman Harris for now just use Blackman Harris Press OK. Excuse me. And then you go to Graphic Equalizer. Double click on it. Look for Speed Clear. Speed Clear. Find it. Select it. Press OK. And then after that, go to Parametric Equalizer. Double click on it look for my key high boost my key high boost select it press ok after that people we are basically done with you know the simple editing using Quality Pro now go back to switch to multi-track view on the left top corner click on it once and now you can look at your vocal it looks different you know it looks different from the start so i'm just gonna play the vocal alone i'm gonna mute the instrumental i'm just gonna play the vocal alone so you can see the difference okay there we go don't mind the noise yeah all right all right all right look ah uh, they wanna pull me back they wanna play my track when I drop a floor, these homies wanna play me back. They wanna pull me back. I don't know if you can really hear. It really, it really sounds way different. It sounds way better. It sounds like you know the song you'd hear on like on the radio, like a proper, properly done song. You see, like I said, the noise is because of the room I'm in. But I will explain it later when I do the advanced, advanced um, uh, recording process. You can kill the noise if you want. What you do is you can just go open the vocal, double click on the vocal, and select a part of it. And you just go to um, the effects. You can silence like this. Silence. Now you can play. You won't even hear any noise anymore. But like I'll explain that later on because there's a better way of doing. Yeah. That. But I'll explain that when I do the more advanced, you know, 
uh, tutorial on Kuwadi Pro. But yeah, basically, that's how you do it. So just keep messing around with those ones, changing the settings, putting in the effects. And if you have any questions, just ask me on my channel. I'll holler back anytime. Just, just, just go crazy. Have fun, you know. Making music is awesome. I peace, love, and happiness. Was your homie Tanzo? I hope this tutorial was helpful. Yeah, man. One love, three finger gang. Ah. Uh.